Hi everyone, this is Lori from My File Addiction. Today I'm going to show you how to change a design from, say, an all SS10 design to an all SS6 design. So um, you're going to use your contour um, uh, function, which is in the lower right hand corner. Right now it's not lit up, but um, that's the, the feature we're going to do. So um, we are going to, I'm going to delete this real quick here. I'm going to upload this file and I'm going to insert image here. Okay, so basically um, this is the file, the, uh, a Cricut Brother file that I have set up for people that um, buy files from me. It's an, it's a, there are two SVG files inside the file folder and one of them will be labeled Cricut Brother at the end of the file name. So you need to look for that. And inside that will give you um, measurements of what the size of the file should be. And then on my listing image, it will tell you what stone sizes I use. So this particular file I know I've used, I created to use all SS10s. So say you wanted to use all SS6s because you wanted to make the file smaller. Okay, so you can't just change the stone size um, and keep the file the same size. So as you change the stone size, the file will get smaller. So if you wanted to make it bigger, say for your plus size um, customers, you could change it to an SS16. So I can show you how to do that too. Um, it's basically the same concept, just two different numbers. So I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to make one of a six and one of an SS10. Actually, you know what? I'm going to duplicate it again. I can keep one at the regular size. So um, when you bring in my files here, you will see measurements. Okay, so first thing we're going to need to do is ungroup the file. And then you're going to check to make sure that this file is indeed size correctly for an SS10 stone size. Okay, so you want to make sure you're going to start off with the correct size design to begin with because if you don't then you're going to you might have issues so this one says each box should measure 9.049 by 9.934 okay so we want to make sure our boxes the black boxes they're both going to be sized the same exact size so we want to make sure we select just the very edge of the box if we select too close to the inside we may be selecting the design piece and you can tell over on your right hand side what piece has been selected because it'll be highlighted so even though I, I clicked on the black part of the um, file it actually selected the inside part with the shoe okay so that's not one I want to check because that size is going to be smaller because my um, the design piece is smaller than the box size so um, you can come over here and you can select one of your block boxes and we can check the sizing. This is 9.049 by 9.934 and the other one is exactly the same size. Okay, so we know both of these design pieces are the correct size. So we are going to, um, we're going to delete that. Okay, so now what you need to do is we need to delete just the boxes. Um, so I'm going to select the edge and I'm going to select the edge of that one. Okay, so we can only design one piece at a time. Okay, um, that's just something your program won't allow you to design or, or, or resize. I should, I'm sorry, we can only resize one piece at a time. So we are going to select the first piece. And we are going to go to our contour option here in the lower right hand corner and we're going to select that and we're going to wait for the design piece to load okay so we're going to select one of the circles in the design okay so it kind of went away there so we are going to select hide all contours Okay, so this basically hit everything but this one circle here. So we're going to X out of this. And now you can see that one circle has been just, has been selected. This is another way that you can actually check the size of your designs too. 
because now this tells me that that one circle measured 0.13 inches. Okay, that is the correct size for an SS10 um, circle to, to cut the correct size hole for an SS10 stone. Your SS6s will be around 0 0.10 and your an SS16 would be 0.17 inches. Okay. So what we are going to do is why this is selected, we're going to go up to the top here and we're going to change this to 0 0.10 inches, okay? And make sure your little um, lock here has, is, is locked and um, so you only have to change one of these sizes and it keeps our circles round. So we're going to change that to 0 0.10 and we're going to select enter. Okay, so now we can see that it changed our circle size to a 0 0.10. Now, if we go and we select this again, and we go back into our contour, and we are going to, okay, wait for it to load, and we're going to select the hide all contours again, and then we're we're going to select show all contours. Okay, so now they're all highlighted again. So now if we X out of this, we, um, our design has now been changed to all SS6 stone sizes. So see, compared to what it was, this particular, just this particular piece, let me ungroup this one here. This is our SS10. No. I'm going to delete the boxes on this so we can just double check here. Okay, so this is this was the size of our um, SS10 piece, 8.749. Now, as you can tell, it's much smaller. Now it's down to 6.733 inches. But now, that, so the whole design has been, design piece has been reduced down so that the circles are now smaller to cut an SS6 hole instead of an SS10. So you would do the same thing for your other piece. So you got to make sure you design, you um, do it for every single piece of the design, okay? So we'll go back into our contour. select a circle, we're going to select hide all contours, and we can X out of that, go back up to our sizing, change it to 0 0.10, select enter, go back into contour, and let's see, oh, yep, wait for it to load. Select hide all contours, then show all contours. And now, if you put both of these pieces together, it should fit perfectly. Okay? So now we know that both, both of these pieces have been resized to the correct size. So it would be the same thing if we wanted to make this for one of our plus size people. Um, we're going to ungroup it. Select just the box here. Delete it. Oh, we should double check. See our oops. Select just the box. Okay. Double check. Make sure we're starting with the correct size design, which we are because we duplicated them. We're going to delete it. I'm going to delete this measurement over here. Okay. I'm going to select this piece. Go into contour. Which I'm, you know what, I might not even have to select a, let's see something. So if I don't, I might not even have to select one because I just noticed that it's not even keeping the circle that I selected. So let's do hide all, okay, so all you have to do is you have to 
hit hide all contours. You don't even have to select a circle because it's gonna it's going to um, just randomly select one for you. So we will X out of that. Okay, so instead of being 0.13, if we wanted to change this for an SS16 stone size, we would change the 3 to a 7, so it's 0.17 inches. Enter. Go back into contour. select hide all contours then it changes to show all contours select that X out of this and now we can see look at that piece went from being um, 8.749 to now 11.446 by 12.603 so as we can see it's increased the size quite a bit just changing that design to an SS16 stone size. Okay, so again, you would do it for both pieces because if not, you can see that this will not fit. The piece won't fit. So all the pieces of the design have to be resized. Okay, so now that's working with a file. So now if we were to work with a rhinestone font, so basically if I took this um, as a rhinestone font, um, which is not a typable font, so this was just a, um, a um, file that I uploaded. And it's just my script font here. So all these are individual letters. So as soon as you ungroup them, you can just pick out the letters you need and build your word. Okay. So um, on this particular one, let's see here. Let's, let's zoom out here. I'm going to put this up in the tends to zoom to the corner when you, when you zoom in. Okay, so um, sometimes getting closer to the design gives you a little bit more um, flexibility to, to really get in there and move things around. So um, like I said, you can only do the changing of the stone sizes per uh, design piece. So each one of these letters is an actual separate design piece. So you would actually have to do it for all five pieces, okay? Which can be a little time consuming. But if you happen to um, put this word together, make sure you have everything lined up the way you want it to line up. So we're gonna, I'm gonna put this together over here. And I'm gonna put this over here. So I'm going to select these four letters here. Actually, I'm going to select them all. And I'm going to go into my alignment up at the top. And I'm going to align to the bottom. And it's going to move them down. And it's going to align everything to the bottom of the letter B. Okay? So everything is all lined up. So I'm going to move this B over just a little bit. Okay, so make sure you get your spacing the way you want it to. Um, maybe my eye over just a little bit more. No, it's too much that way. I have to select all three of these here. I have to manually move it a little bit over. Okay, so now, so now what we're going to do is we are going to select the entire word and we are going to go into the weld option so once we weld these together now they become one piece so now we can do our contour okay so now we would go into contour and hide all contours x out of here and say we wanted to make it smaller we're gonna go back down to an SS 10 stone size enter go back into contour and we're gonna select hide all contours
contours, then show all contours. X out of here. And now we have a smaller bride design. Okay, so this one is 5.471. I did not make a duplicate of this, but if I back out of this, um, our original one was uh, seven, seven inches, a little over seven inches. So by reducing it down, we brought it down to almost five and three quarters um, inches wide. So, um, but that's kind of a quick little tip to um, show you how to reduce the stone sizes. This will only work if you have a design that is made up 100% of all the same stone size, okay? If you have a design that's mixed with SS10s and SS6s, you can't do that because um, I have to group all of your pieces um, all the circles that make up a letter or a, a design part, I have to group them all and make it one piece. So basically the sixes and a tens would be one piece. So if you go in and you, you, you put that sizing at the top and you, you change it, it's going to, to um, mess up those smaller stone sizes. It will reduce them down even further. So, um, and, and then you won't be able to cut a smaller hole size for that one. So I hope this information was helpful. Have a great day.